This right here is probably the easiest antenna design that I have built. It consists of two continuous wire elements, one on each side. They are each 40 inches long and each part is 10 inches long. So we got 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, same on the other side. And then they are 10 inches apart this way. So it creates a perfect triangle on each one of them and it also creates a perfect triangle in between them. And they are one and a half inches apart from each other. And then I have a wood base for uh, installing this in my attic. If you go outside you might use a PVC pipe but I'm putting this in my attic so I can make a mount, a pivot mount up on the top here and attach it to the top beam of my attic and then I can just turn it in whatever direction I want to turn it in. And then I have PVC material for my element bases and so uh, that works really well. Then I have my matching transformer. And what I like about this antenna is that it has a wider range of reception. It will, I know that it uh, picks up VHF high as well as UHF signals. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to just talk about it, I'm going to show you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to compare it to one of my older ones. This is the fractal bow tie. And I'm not going to trash talk it because I really owe a lot to this thing. It was derived from uh, the, the, the regular bow tie design with straight elements and I put these uh, stars in there to uh, give me more stable reception which allowed me to cut my cable and save me a bunch of money. So I really owe a lot to this thing but I'm going to compare that to this. Here I have my fractal bow tie set up. We'll zoom you in and we'll do a channel scan. Now let's take a look at the results from the fractal bow tie. Here's VHF channel 13. UHF channel 39. UHF channel 16. And UHF channel 48. Now let's switch the antenna. We'll take the fractal bow tie down and we'll put the tri four in the same spot in the same direction. And now let's run the channel scan. This one may take a little bit longer because it senses more channels in the outside area. Of course, it's not going to get them. It's going to get the same channels that I had before. Let's take a look at the results. VHF 13. UHF 39. UHF 16 and UHF 48. And here's the full results from both of them. It's quite interesting. Well, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and possibly share it. And until next time, we'll see you.